Oh, Sam, Sam, that's something different. That's big, real, 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 get ready. That's a late choke, real, real, real. You got him, set it. Happy New Year, guys. It is January 1st in Northwest Ontario. That means it is Lake Trout opener. Ontario is species specific, so every every species has its own season. Lake Trout opens January 1st, and it's just like a, it's a very common activity. January 1st, we're going lake trout fishing. So that's what we're doing today, now that I live in Ontario and it's in my backyard. So here we go. Uh, this is actually my first time breaking out the 10 inch ion, which is for big fish. 10 inch diameter hole. Uh, it's good for big pike, good lake trout. Anyways, the goal is lake trout today. It is prime time, it is sunrise. I need to stop talking. We're gonna set probably two or three iFish pros and uh, my fishing partner who will arrive shortly will probably jig, but I wanna give her like the best possible chance at catching her first laker through the ice. So that is the goal. Enough talk, here we go. Happy New Year 2021. We were starting off with the Frostbite Dragon Slayer. Look at that. On an underspin jig, I guess that's what you call it. Nice blade on the bottom. Oh. Um, I'm using the Mr. Big, the 43 Heavy or Extra Heavy. I forget what it is, Heavy. And uh, Sam's in the truck, she'll be coming out shortly. She's not feeling too hot right now. I got her up pretty early. Um, we went to bed at like 10 o'clock yesterday. We did not make it till midnight. But uh, yeah, it's just a stunning day. I don't even think we're gonna set up the shack today. Yeah, we'll see, it's morning bite, prime time. Anything can happen. We're not fishing a high number spot by any means. We're just hoping for maybe one, maybe two big bites. Um, but that's kind of what I prefer anyways. And if that's gonna be Sam's first lake trout, I'd love for her to dangle with a big mama. So that's the game plan. Here we go. So you've never caught a lake or through the ice? I think so. No? Today might be the day. Okay, I'm gonna drop some bait down. It's gonna get a little mucky, but it's gonna hopefully bring fish in. This could be whitefish. I can give you different lures too. Maybe I'll drop something smaller down right now. I'm gonna drop a little meat down and see what we're dealing with. Probably a big laker, Sam, if, he, if he's aggressive, you won't even have time to react. Like you'll see this blob streak in and it'll be just like setting the hook instantly. I'd make sure you have a decent grip on it. Another thing is, the thing about lake trout is they can eat anywhere in the water column. So I'd like reel up, let it fall, reel up a bit, drop it down, like really all over the place. That's just a look at that fish on the bottom slithering. Well, that fish is chasing my, my jig. He's all over my jig. Got him. We were hooked up. First fish of 2021. 20, oh, I hope it's like a Cisco or a white fish or something, some sort of bait. Come on, give us some bait fish. Ooh, yes, look at that. Sick, you little guy. Guys, that is why, ooh, that's why the trout are here and we are keeping that, that's pike bait. Look at that, that is candy on the little tungsten frostbite jig, a little bit of meat on it. We're gonna put that guy to sleep. They smell like cucumbers. I don't believe that. They definitely smell like cucumbers. Smell my hands. No, I can smell, smell my hands. It's you smell stink. Might smell my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it smell like cucumbers? No, it smells like pennies. What those fish will do against some of these rock walls, you can see a little of the bait flickering here, but they'll corral that bait and they'll push it up against the rock wall and that's where they hunt. It's just a good ambush point for them because the, the bait gets cornered, right? So we're on the mud right at the bottom of this drop. It comes up to, you know, 30 feet behind us and it drops off into 50 feet right here. So we're fishing, you can see, on the left here, you can see rock and then it just flattens out to mud and that's where we're hanging. Before we get any further in our day, something that's so important if you're gonna target these fish, cause we're targeting big old lake trout. You need to take care of them. If you're gonna be fishing for them, this isn't uh, this isn't eater size walleye. These, these fish can be 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. So some longer hookouts or pliers is just a must. And the biggest thing is you bring these things along, have them accessible because if they're not accessible, it doesn't matter if you have them along. If you have to let the fish flop on the ice for a couple of minutes while you're going to get your gear, that's no good. And then a pair of bolt cutters. 
This will cut any hooks. If for some reason hooks are a little bit deeper, you can chop them off or if it's just hooked in an awkward spot. You know, you're, you're cutting a, a 20 cent, a 80 cent hook. Uh, it's, it's totally worth it because you're fishing for just a couple bites all day, right? So taking care of these fish is so important. Minimal handling time. And uh, lake trout are one of the fish that have the ability to burp. That's why you're able to fish for them in deeper water and, and not worry about the barrow trauma. So nickname is burp shark I've heard before. And you'll see those bubbles coming out and, and then you know it's a lake trout when you're fighting it. But yeah, that's, that's my spiel. I'm thinking a flag's gonna fly pretty soon. Ooh, there's some fish down there. Is this lake? Is this is this the lake trout guru? Uh, that's me. Yes. Happy New Year, buddy. By the way. You too, guys. You too. Yeah. No, it's 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 on the horizon. Whoa. Oh, Sam's hooked up with lake. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, yeah. No, keep rolling. Oh, keep yeah. it. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Quick. He's still there. He's still there. Keep going. Oh, that was exactly how it happens. Drop down, do, do some aggressive rips and stuff. Oh, did you see him come up? No. Oh, that was a laker, 100%. Did you see how big his tail was when he was kicking? No. We were on funny. the phone with Justin Jenkins, Lake Trout extraordinaire, and uh, we had our opportunity. That may be the bite of the day. <laughs> oh, man, Sam. Well, we'll replay the live scope footage and probably see that fish just come out of nowhere and crush. Was it 40? Oh, it was, it was something big. It was, I mean, it was good. It was like, it was a lake, it was a lake trout, hundred percent. All of a sudden there was just a giant blob on her on live scope and her rod was bent and there was just no time. And I, I, I mean, I wasn't looking, but uh, it, it, it inhaled her fluke and she was bent rod. I don't know if it was like a super crushing hook set, but uh, whatever. Happy New Year, buddy. Good, good luck with the caribou antler. You did so good with the trout. Oh, Ooh, Sam, Sam, that's something different. That's big, real, 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 get ready. That's a lake trout, real, real, real. You got him, set it. He's on. Drop down, drop down, drop down. Stay in the zone, throw your gloves off if you can. Yes, yes. We are hooked up. Sam's first lake trout through the ice. Yes, 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 yes. Take your time. It's gonna do some runs, okay? It hasn't done any fighting yet. Do you wanna take that other glove off? Yeah. Okay. Like Joe, baby. Yeah! Did you see that hook set? Yeah, that was so good. You did so good. <laughs> You've never caught a fish like this through the ice. Yeah, I know. It's a lift. You can stay knelt. That's easier. Okay, just stop reeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just don't let that rod get straight, okay? I'm gonna just break the ice, keep doing your thing. Ooh, it's a big fish, Sam. It's a big fish. Yeah, there's the leader. Just go slow now if he wants to run near the hole. Okay, get, don't let that rod go any more straight. Real? Yeah, no, no, just take your time. Just slowly pull. I'm doing it. You're doing great, you're doing great. Okay, lift, don't reel anymore. Just lift. Yes, that's a big trout. Yes, Sam, look at this. <laughs> look at that laker. It's burping. Unreal on the dragon slayer. All right, Sam, you're gonna hold this fish. I'm gonna hold him in the water for a second. Show me. Your first lake show through the ice. <laughs> He's wiggling. Hold him up a little higher, tail a little higher. Yes, right there. Amazing. Look at that. How good was that fight? That was pretty cool. All right, we're gonna just pop that out. All right, hooks out. Okay, let's slide him back, Sam.
Yes, you did it. Third time's the charm. Yep. That was cool. That was fun. Was that like the most exciting fish you ever caught through the ice probably? The fight was ridiculous. Yeah. Those were big runs. Those were great runs. We did it. An hour and a half in, opening day. Sam's personal best lake trout. All right. I'm dropping down the tiny micro dinabel. Glow, glow yellow, glow pink, glow purple, whatever you want to call it. Just to see what this smaller stuff is. I'd love to catch some more bait. My bait supply is not great. And uh, Sam's going to keep slaying big mama lake trout. First laker through the ice and your biggest laker ever. So many, so many things. The best way I can compare lake trout fishing is to musky fishing open water. It's just like, it can be boring. When you're fishing for bigger fish, it can be boring for 95% of the day, but you have to be ready for that moment when that trout comes streaking up because it happens so fast. Goodbye, Sam. I think Sam's done for the day. Anything you want to say to the viewers? Any, any goals for 2021? Any resolutions you want to uh, publicly announce? No. <laughs> You're using this video to hold me accountable? Yes. Fish on. We're keeping all the perch that we're catching because it's in deep water. Because when you catch them from 55 feet of water, they're not going back. Even though they're small, we will get some fillets off of them. Well guys, I didn't really do any sort of year-end wrap-up video, so since this is the first video of the year, I just want to, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think, I think New Year's just another day, you know. Is it a fresh start? Yeah, a fresh start for some people. For us, uh, you know, I think uh, COVID isn't going to go away overnight, so we're still dealing with some of those restrictions. And we stayed close to home this year. We put, I think, 73 videos on our YouTube channel, which is incredible. And without your support, without you guys watching it, I wouldn't be able to do it, you know? The views help pay the bills, the sponsors help pay the bills, and I am so blessed, so fortunate, so thankful. I never take it for granted, because I know that I have uh, such a, a cool job, and I'm so fortunate to be able to teach, be able to go on these cool trips and document them, and I'm just thankful for all of it. And Sam has really helped things I wouldn't be able to do that without Sam like even though I'm the one out fishing and filming a lot of time she's keeping the ship afloat at home and uh, she does a lot of the behind the scenes stuff the bookkeeping all that so I love her a lot she is fantastic but 73 videos um yeah wow and we're uh we went from I don't even know 30 30 some thousand subscribers to 65,000 you guys are the best and we are going to hit 100,000 subscribers in 2021. That is my New Year's goal. You heard it here. It is now on video forever. So I'm gonna try my absolute best to make that happen. And if you've not subscribed, I would be so appreciative if you hit that subscribe button. But let's catch some more lake trout. Enough talking. Oh no, there's a big mark down there. Come on. Big mark. How did, how did I not notice that? I'm so busy talking to the camera. And there's probably a lake trout staring all over my bait. Ridiculous. All right. This is going to be my last perch. And then we got enough for a fry. And I'm going to probably put out iFish Pro instead and be done with this. Because these fish are not releasable. Micro dinner bell. All right, so the bait that scored for Sam was the Dragon Slayer. It's a 5.1 inch fluke style bait. You can use these open water for largies or Lakers or whatever as well. And then as far as jigs go, I think it's pretty important to have a strong hook and then also a bit of a longer shank. So this is a sweet jig made by a Kenora native, Ryan Gustafson at Lake of the Woods Sports headquarters. That's the only place you can get them. And they are uh, pretty sweet custom jigs, awesome gammy hooks, and just a sweet head. It, it hangs nice and vertical. Um, horizontal, yes. And then we got, uh, this is a Berkeley Fusion. Really nice, strong hook on this head. And uh, just a cool shape, nice and aggressive looking. 
And then I don't even know what brand this is. This I got off Tackle Warehouse or something, some random big largey swim bait jig but yeah a long hook you don't want too short because sometimes they'll come and they'll grab the back half you could also put a, a treble hook on the back and put a trailer on as well sam's using that under spin type jig that i showed you but a strong hook is key don't use your grandpa's walleye jig for this and um because you may only get a couple chances and then as far as the baits goes well i didn't actually show this you can trim it obviously you know, you might want full size, but right on this one, we uh, on this one we uh, cut cut it like probably half an inch, quarter inch, something like that, shorter. So you know, it just makes it a little more present, like a little tighter of a presentation, and I think a perfect size for these lake trout. So today, I caught my personal best lake trout, also through the ice, which I've never done. It That's was your very first fun. lake trout through the ice. Yeah. She was a star. She didn't give up even after missing two. Was it the same fish? I don't know. It was a beautiful Northwest Ontario Laker. Good start to the year. No luck with tip-ups today. No tip-ups. It just shows you that bait doesn't always win. The Dragon Slayer got it done today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have the best 2021 ever. Pick up your trash if you're on the ice or pick someone else's trash up if you happen to see it and... The best 2021 ever. I think that will be the only 2021. This will be your best 2021 ever. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year. Punch. Pick up your trash.